Imagine a world without corruption. Access to health care, clean drinking water, and education. A peaceful society with less social unrest. More accountability for the environment and climate. Governments spending on the right things in the right way and for the common good. Markets that thrive with more transparency, reliability, and fair competition. We are on the road to living in such a world. The adoption of the UN Convention Against Corruption, the first global anti-corruption agreement, paved the way for the UN Global Compact's 10th principle in 2004. The private sector has a shared interest and also responsibility for eliminating corruption. The 10th principle commits businesses to work against corruption in all its forms, including extortion and bribery. Over the past 10 years, we have seen signing of the UN Convention by 140 countries, leading to new anti-corruption laws and expanded enforcement around the world. A better understanding of the real and deeply corrosive costs of corruption. Companies from around the world working in the partnership through the Global Compact to combat corruption. Practical guidance developed for designing, implementing, and reporting on anti-corruption efforts. More training and awareness programs and other achievements like business schools embedding integrity principles in executive education. Businesses that act with integrity are better run, more reliable as partners, more profitable and sustainable. They also have better morale, attract and retain the best people. But much remains to be done. Many companies still struggle to implement anti-corruption policies and many more need to become involved. So where do we go from here? How do we provide future generations with a world freer from corruption? We need more companies to join the fight against corruption and take action individually and collectively. We need more public-private partnerships and a commitment to strengthening civil service integrity. We need governments to promote anti-corruption measures and implement policies to establish systems of good governance. All of us in government, business and civil society must strengthen our efforts to ensure that our children inherit a world that is more transparent, accountable, inclusive and fairer with more opportunity for all. This is our commitment at the Global Compact and our challenge to you.